Good evening everyone, it's Chandra Kla. Today we will see magnetic field of earth. As we have already discussed some properties of the magnet and we have discussed induced, uh, induced magnetism, then we have seen magnetic field and magnetic field lines. Now we will see that the earth behaves as a magnet. Earth itself will behave as a magnet and some proofs regarding that that we will discuss here. But before starting that, uh, the earth behave as a magnet just like if a bar magnet is a large huge bar magnet is placed inside the earth crust. But really it is not so. The earth behave as a magnet uh, due to molten magnetic materials magnetic materials that means uh, some magnetic materials mainly iron is present in melted form in a large amount under earth's crust and that because of that magnetism the earth shows the magnetic properties okay so here four things are given the first thing is a freely suspended magnetic needle always rest in geographic north south direction that means a freely suspended magnetic needle or a, uh, compass. Both are same things because or a simple bar magnet. You can take a simple bar magnet and you can suspend it with the help of a string or thread. Or you can take simply a uh, compass, magnetic compass. So you can take anything from here. Uh, so a freely suspended magnet. I am writing magnet. You can take anything. Always shows geographic north south direction okay this is the first evidence that the earth has magnetism in it or the earth shows magnetic properties so here the first concept is if you have capped your magnet if you have suspended a bar magnet freely then you will notice that one and that means the north side of the bar magnet will indicate geographic north and another side will that means the south pole of the magnet will indicate geographic south this is geographic north and this is geographic south so it is so that means it is possible only if the earth has a huge magnet inside it where its south pole its south pole is towards geographic north and its north pole is towards geographic south that means the magnetism of earth is such that it behave as a huge bar magnet whose south pole obviously if it is a magnet it will have two poles north pole and south pole so the south and or the south pole of the earth's magnet will be towards geographic north and the north pole of the magnet will be towards geographic south then there will be attraction that means this geographic south pole of the earth's magnet will attract the geographic north pole of your bar magnet that's why your bar magnet is suspended such that its north pole is to towards geographic north and similarly there will be attraction between the north pole of the earth's magnet and the south pole of the bar magnet that means the first evidence is that whenever we will put a magnetic compass or when we whenever we will suspend a bar magnet freely with the help of a thread then it always shows geographic north south direction that means it comes to rest in geographic north south direction and it is possible only if there is some another magnet which is having south pole towards the geographic north and because of this south pole our bar magnet's north pole is getting attracted towards it and at a particular place it will become stable and that will be towards geographic north similarly the earth's magnet will have a north pole that will be towards the geographic south pole and the north pole of the earth's magnet will attract the south pole of the bar magnet there will be attraction between both these poles and the uh, in some at a particular time at a particular place the bar magnet will become stationary towards its north pole towards the north uh, geographic north and south pole towards the geographic south the second evidence is given that if any here the example is given about uh, geographic uh, it's soft iron because generally we use this to make the artificial magnets so if a soft iron bar or a rule is buried under the earth's crust then 
in earth surface or earth crust then it will start behaving as a magnet start behaving as a magnet and it is possible only if already there is a magnet and because of which the soft iron bar bar is getting uh, induced magnetism and because of that the iron starts behaving as a magnet so this is the second proof that inside the earth some magnetism is there or the earth behaves as a magnet then the third point is neutral points this is very important concept that means as we have seen in the last class we can plot we can plot magnetic field lines with the help of a bar magnet we can take a white sheet of paper then we can take a bar magnet then we can take a magnetic compass we will put that compass near one end of the magnet and then it will show one deflection in the direction of the deflection we will plot one point then we will remove compass from here and then we will put that compass here then again we will get one point then remove the compass from here and keep it here again we will get the point but when we will combine all these points we will get some uh, curved lines like this and these curved lines are only known as magnetic line of force or line of magnetic field so when we keep continuous do, continuously doing this process then one points come at a distance from this magnet where the compass does not show any particular deflection it can rest in any direction so two points we will get on both sides of this magnet where the magnetic compass is unable to show a particular direction the reason is here the net magnetic field becomes zero we have already discussed magnetic field is represented by b which is a vector quantity so at both these points the magnetic field will become zero that means that means see if any vector quantity has its value zero then two possibilities are there the first possibility either magnitude of that particular uh, quantity is zero that means numerical value itself is zero so automatically then the answer will be zero and the second possibility is we are having to equal and opposite values as if you are having one force five newton here and one force five newton here then what is the net force zero that means numerical value is not zero but since the forces are equal and opposite so the net force is zero similarly at these two points two magnetic fields are present which are equal and opposite two magnetic fields fields are present which are equal and opposite now you can understand one thing that your one magnetic field is due to your bar magnet you have kept one bar magnet here because of that bar magnet you are having one magnetic field that's okay but from where this second magnetic field is coming that means except the magnetic field of your magnet some other magnetic field is also present here which is balancing the magnetic field of your magnet and that magnetic field is the magnetic field of earth and neutral points are those points where the magnetic field of earth will balance the magnetic field of your bar magnet that means they will have equal numerical value but in opposite direction so they will cancel out each other and the net value of the magnetic field is here zero as you know that as you will move far away from this uh, magnet the strength of the magnetic field will decrease this we have already seen practically also you can experience if you will put two magnets at some large distance they will not show any kind of uh, attraction or repulsion the reason is same because as we will move away from the magnet its magnetic field decreases so already here we were having a little uh, a small value of magnetic field and that is balanced by the magnetic field of earth so here the net magnetic field is zero so the compass is unable to show any kind of deflection so that means this neutral point proves that except this magnet's magnetic field there is one more magnetic field that is the earth's magnetic field therefore earth behave as a magnet the next evidence that is the uh, last evidence is uh, a magnetic needle rest making different angles that means it makes different angles at different places of earth different places of earth as we have already discussed that earth has a large surface area 
so if you will take a bar magnet suspended with the help of a thread and if you will travel all over the world that means on on all the earth then you will feel that at some places you are suspended uh, bar magnet will become vertical to earth surface vertical means at 90 degree this is your earth surface and it will become vertical to it it can become vertical to it and at some particular place you will find that it has become parallel to the surface of the earth if this is the surface of the earth it has become parallel to it and sometimes you will feel that it is making a particular angle with the horizontal or with the surface that means at all the places of the earth it, the bar magnet do not show same behavior its slope changes its inclination changes so here the thing is the place where your bar magnet will become vertical they are known as magnetic poles that means the earth's magnetic pole we are saying that the earth is behaving as a magnet that means it must have two poles if it is a magnet it must have two poles so where your bar magnet has become vertical to earth surface vertical means 90 degree perpendicular they are known as magnetic poles and where it become parallel that is known as magnetic equator and at all other places it is making some angle with the horizontal with the surface of the earth so here what does it represents actually it represents that why your magnet is changing its behavior that means it is confirmed that some other magnetic effect is present here which is affecting the magnetic effect of your bar magnet which influences your bar magnet's effect and what is that magnetic effect that is the magnetic effect of earth that means this is also one proof this is also one evidence that your bar magnet shows different angle with surface area or horizontal of the earth due to the influence of earth's magnetic field it is showing different behavior because of the earth's magnetic field or earth's magnetic strength so that means these are the four things which proves that the earth has a magnetic field